Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve and graph multiplication and division inequalities. We'll start with multiplication and then move on to division. Now, when we solve inequalities, we want to isolate the variable, get it by itself on one side of the inequality. We do that by using inverse operations. So this is very similar to when we solve equations. One thing we need to be aware of though, when it comes to inequalities, remember, we need to flip the inequality symbol, change the direction when multiplying or dividing both sides by a negative. Now, once we solve the inequality, we can graph the solutions, all of the values that make the inequality true. Let's jump into number one, where we have five y is less than 40. Five times y is less than 40. So we are multiplying y by five. We need the inverse operation of multiplication. That's division. So let's divide the left side of the inequality by five. That means we need to divide the right side as well. Whatever we do to one side of an inequality, we must do to the other in order to keep it balanced. Now on the left side, these fives cancel each other out. Y is now isolated. So we have Y is less than, and then on the right side, 40 divided by five gives us eight. So Y is less than eight. And that's our answer. So any value less than eight is a solution of this inequality. It will make it true. Now we can graph y is less than eight. So we are graphing all of the solutions here. Let's start with a number line and we can put eight in the middle. Then a couple of numbers on both sides. So we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now remember, when it comes to graphing inequalities, a filled circle shows that we are including that number, and then an open circle shows that we are not including that number. So here, y is less than eight. Eight is not included. So we need an open circle at eight. And now we need to represent all of the values less than eight. So let's draw an arrow going left the direction of everything less than eight. And that's our graph. The open circle at eight shows that eight is not included. And then the arrow going left represents all of the values less than eight. And one last thing we can do here is check a solution. So we can plug in anything less than eight for y and see if it works. Let's use six. So plug in six for y. So five times six is less than 40. Five times six gives us 30. 30 is less than 40, so we are correct here. Our answer, y is less than eight. So y can be anything less than eight and it will work. Let's move on to number two, where we have negative 33 is greater than or equal to negative 11 M. So we need to undo that multiplication. Let's divide the right side by negative 11. That means we need to divide the left side by negative 11 as well. Now remember, when we multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a negative, the inequality symbol flips, it changes direction. So as far as the right side, these negative 11s cancel each other out. M is now isolated. The inequality symbol flips. And then on the left side, negative 33 divided by negative 11 gives us three. So M is greater than or equal to three. Now, as far as flipping the inequality symbol, that symbol flips as soon as both sides are divided by negative 11. Basically, it flips in order to keep the inequality true. I go into more detail about this in other videos. Those links are in the description. For this video, we will focus on solving and graphing. 
Now, as far as our answer, we have m is greater than or equal to three. So m can be anything greater than or equal to three. Now we can rewrite this inequality with the variable coming first. This can make an inequality easier to work with. All we need to do is write the variable first, then make sure the symbol is going the correct way. So we have m, and then m is greater than or equal to three. So that symbol needs to open up towards m. m needs to remain greater than or equal to three. So again, keep in mind, we can rewrite an inequality with the variable first if we prefer. Either way works. Now let's graph. So we can draw our number line here and put three in the middle with a couple of numbers on both sides. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Now m is greater than or equal to three. So three is included, it is a solution. So we need a filled circle at three. Now we need to represent the greater than part. So we can draw an arrow going right, the direction of everything greater than three. And that's our graph. The filled circle shows that we are including three and then the arrow to the right represents all of the values greater than three. And then lastly, let's check a solution just to make sure we are correct here. So we can plug in anything greater than or equal to three for M in order to see if it works. Let's use four. So we have negative 33 is greater than or equal to negative 11 times four. Negative 11 times four gives us negative 44. So we have negative 33 is greater than or equal to negative 44. That is true, so we are correct here. M is greater than or equal to three. And let's actually check three as well to make sure that works since M can be equal to three. And we will do this mentally. So plug in three for M. Negative 11 times three gives us negative 33. And reading the inequality from left to right, negative 33 is greater than or equal to negative 33. So that is true, three works as well. So there are our multiplication examples. Let's move on to division. Here are our division examples. Let's jump into number one where we have x divided by four is less than or equal to 12. Since x is being divided by four, we need the inverse operation of division. That's multiplication. So let's multiply the left side of the inequality by four. Whatever we do to one side of an inequality, we must do to the other. So multiply the right side by four as well. Now on the left, these fours cancel each other out. X is now isolated. So we have X is less than or equal to, and then on the right side, 12 times four gives us 48. So X is less than or equal to 48. That's our answer. So any value less than or equal to 48 is a solution of this inequality. It will make it true. And now we're ready to graph this. So we can start with a number line and we will put 48 in the middle and then a couple of numbers on both sides. So we have 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So we need a filled circle at 48. And now we need to represent the less than part. So we need an arrow going left towards everything less than 48. So the filled circle at 48 shows that 48 is included. It is a solution. And then the arrow going left represents all of the values less than 48. So that's our graph.
And one last thing we can do here is check a solution to make sure we are correct. So we need anything less than or equal to 48. Let's use 40 since we are dividing and that will work nicely with the four. So we have 40 divided by four is less than or equal to 12. 40 divided by four gives us 10. And 10 is less than or equal to 12, so we are correct here. And let's actually check 48 as well to make sure that works since x can be equal to 48. Now we're going to do this mentally. So we have 48 divided by four is less than or equal to 12. 48 divided by four is 12, and 12 is less than or equal to 12. So 48 works as well. Let's move on to number two, where we have W divided by negative nine is less than seven. So we need to undo the division here. Let's multiply the left side by negative nine. That means we need to multiply the right side by negative nine as well. Now remember, when we multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a negative, the inequality symbol flips, it changes direction. So on the left, these negative nines cancel each other out. W is now isolated, then the inequality symbol flips, and then on the right, seven times negative nine gives us negative 63. So W is greater than negative 63. That's our answer. So W can be anything greater than negative 63. Now, as far as flipping the inequality symbol, that symbol flips as soon as both sides are multiplied by negative nine. Basically, it flips in order to keep the inequality true. So as far as our answer, W is greater than negative 63, we are ready to graph. So let's draw a number line with negative 63 in the middle, and then we can put a couple of numbers on both sides. So we have negative 65, negative 64, negative 63, negative 62, negative 61. W is greater than negative 63. So negative 63 is not included. It's not a solution. So we need an open circle at negative 63. Then we need to represent the greater than part. So we need an arrow going right towards everything greater than negative 63. The open circle shows that negative 63 is not included, and then the arrow going right represents all of the values greater than negative 63. And that's our graph. And lastly, let's wrap this up by checking a solution. So we can use anything greater than negative 63. Let's use negative 54 and plug that in for W. That will work nicely with that negative nine there since we are dividing. So negative 54 divided by negative nine is less than seven. Negative 54 divided by negative nine gives us six. Six is less than seven, so we are correct here. Our answer, W is greater than negative 63. So there you have it. There's how to solve and graph multiplication and division inequalities. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.